boys and girls, children of distant faraway lands and clusters, it is my great privilege, nay, honour, to introduce to you today the great, the magnificent Prince Sethington, Lord of Toongabi. Ah, good morning, my subjects. Welcome to this, our final episode of Term 3 Wildfire Online. It is such a pleasure to be here today with Harriet, my chief warden. My liege. Thank you. Thank you, Harriet. And, boys and girls, today you may wonder why we are garbed as so, and we will tell you. For today we are talking about kings and queens, and none other than King Xerxes and Queen Esther, who is our hero for today. And nay, what a hero she is indeed, none like you, my liege, but she was quite a biblical hero, mm. may I add, dare I say. You may dare. My liege. I will allow it. And so, Harriet, may you start us off with a prayer, please, my unto greatest, our Lord. My greatest privilege. Father God, we thank you for this time and this opportunity and privilege just to be with you today. We pray that, that we would just be able to have so much fun today, this last episode, that we'd also just be able to learn about you through Queen Esther and all the other Bible heroes we've learned so far during this time. We pray that it be a blessed time and that we would go away feeling rejoiced, strengthened and at peace in your presence. We ask this through your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. And Amen. now, a song.
So, as Lord Sethington and Harriet told us before, today's Bible hero is Esther. Mm. Now, Esther was an incredible woman in the Bible, and we can actually turn to her book. She has her own book in the Bible called Esther. Wow, we'll and you, my book. you can go and find it. Mm. There it is, and you can read the whole story. It's fantastic. But we'll just tell you how it went. So, Esther lived in a city where the king's name was King Xerxes. And one time, King Xerxes threw a huge, huge party. That's right, Seth. Threw a massive party. And also, he had a beautiful wife, mm. okay? And he wanted to show off his wife, but she didn't come when King Xerxes asked her to come. Mm. And he got very upset. Oh, he didn't like he it. No, nah, he was pretty angry, okay? And he thought, you know what? I just want to get a new wife. And so, he went and did that. Yeah, that's exactly what he did. He got all these women who said... Esther, you will be the new queen. And so she came and she became the new, the new yep. queen, the new queen. So suddenly, here's Esther and she's now married to King Xerxes and she's Queen Esther. Yep. And everybody liked Esther. Everyone she liked did her. really well in the palace. She did very well. She actually became the new queen. Mm. Everyone liked her. But Seth, Esther had a secret. Mm. She had a secret to hide. You see, Seth, Esther was actually Jewish. Yeah. And so was the co cousin Mordecai. But what was the problem being Jewish, Seth? Well... The people in the palace were not Jewish. King Xerxes was not Jewish. And the people that they were living with at the time, they were not Jewish people. And so they thought it would be a good idea to keep their identity a secret. That sounds pretty smart because mm -hmm. they didn't want to put themselves in danger. No, they didn't. But you see, Esther was Jewish. And because Mordecai was Jewish also, Mordecai warned Esther, okay, not to tell anyone she was Jewish. Mm. But Esther, she was obedient. She obeyed Mordecai and kept yeah. that a secret. But something happened to Mordecai, Seth. Mm. And then Esther had to step in and help. You know what? We've got a little video to show you. Let's have a look at what happened. It's time for a Bible story. A long time ago, there was a woman named Esther who lived in the land of Persia. Oh, that's where all those fancy rugs come from, right? <laughs> yeah. Those are nice. Little spicy, though. God had an amazing plan for Esther's life. She would be remembered forever as a hero. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Super Esther. What did she do? Save the planet from a meteor? Nope. Did she rescue a million kittens from a tree? No. Did she carry a bomb out of Gotham City on the Batwing so everyone wouldn't blow up, but you're not sure for like five minutes if she made it or not? No, that's Batman. Come on. Right, right. It still gets me every time. Esther did something even more amazing than all of those things, and it sure took a lot of guts to do it. All right, lay it on me. What's the sitch? Well, first of all, Esther and her family were Jewish, which was kind of a big deal back then in Persia. Uh, what do you mean? Well, at the time, the Jewish people weren't really liked by the Persians. In fact, they had to live in exile, and they weren't treated very well at all. Yikes, that's no good. Esther was also an orphan, and she lived with her cousin Mordecai, who protected and raised her after her parents died. Sweet beard, bro. Then one day, something happened that would change Esther's life big time. The king of Persia wanted to find a new wife, so he put on a huge beauty pageant where the winner would become the queen. Wait, really? That's a pretty weird way to get hitched. Like, congratulations, you're the new Miss America, and we're married. Well, as weird as it may sound, that's what the king wanted to do, so that's what happened. Women from all over the kingdom were there, but there was only one that the king favored. Esther was very beautiful, and God gave her favor in the king's eyes, so just like that, she won the pageant. Wait, so Esther became the queen of Persia? Yeah! Okay, that's cool and all, but didn't you say that Esther was Jewish and that, like, the Persians didn't like Jewish people? That's true, but the king didn't know that Esther was Jewish. She didn't want him to find out because she didn't know what would happen to her. So she kept it a secret and never brought it up. Okay, so, like, now she's the queen. Crazy. Is that it? No way. This is where the story really picks up. There's another guy that works for the king named Haman, and he's a pretty bad dude. He hates the Jewish people so much so that he actually brings an idea to the king that would be terrible to kill all of the Jewish people. Whoa, that's really rough. Like, surely the king doesn't go through with it, right? Actually, Haman gets the king to agree and sets the plan in motion. Wait, but if all the Jewish people are killed, that would be horrible. They're like God's chosen people, aren't they? And that's where Jesus would eventually come from. This can't happen. Somebody's got to do something. And that's where Esther comes in. 
She can't stand the thought of seeing her people get wiped out by Haman's awful plan, but she doesn't know what to do. I know what she should do. Time to lay down the law and tell the king not to do it. She probably kicked into mama bear mode and was all like, listen here, buddy. Uh, let me stop you right there. Keep in mind that this is like ancient Persia. You couldn't just approach the king whenever you wanted to, even if you had a reason. So I guess she's in a pretty tough spot, huh? Totally. On one hand, she didn't want to see her people destroyed, but on the other hand, she can't just walk up to the king and tell him what to do. Even the queen? Nope. Nobody could just walk up and talk to the king, period. Man, this is tough stuff. So what'd she do? Even though her mind was filled with doubt and worry about what would happen to her, she had to do something. Esther knew that no matter what her feelings were telling her, she was a child of God. She knew that God loved her and that he had blessed her life and that if she stood up for God's people, that God would back her up. Yeah, that's right. You go, Esther. Esther trusted God and boldly went before the king. The nobles and the guards that surrounded him couldn't believe what they were seeing. Who did this woman think she was, that she could just walk up to the king on her own? Oh man, I bet her feelings were totally freaking out. I'm sure she was feeling a lot of things. She asked the king if she could make a request, and to everyone's surprise, the king wasn't upset. He didn't call for her to be taken away by the guards or thrown in jail, but instead, he listened. Phew, that was intense. Okay, he's listening, time to land the plane but she couldn't do it. What? She chickened out? Bummer. No, not exactly. She didn't want to come right out and tell the king everything, so she asked to have a banquet and planned to tell him there. Okay, so there's still a chance to save her people. Come on, Esther, you can do it. Later at the banquet, she went before the king with another request. All right, here we go. Showtime. But she was still too nervous. Goodness gracious, you weren't kidding when you said her feelings were freaking out. Totally. She was feeling all kinds of things, even questioning if the whole thing was a mistake. But her cousin Mordecai encouraged her and reminded her that what God says is more important than her fears and doubts, and he told her something that she would never forget. Esther, you were put here for such a time as this. Yeah, come on, Esther, you got this. Esther had dinner with the king again, and the moment came for her to ask her question. She took a deep breath, and she went for it. She pleaded with him not to go through with Haman's plan to kill the Jews. She finally told him that she was Jewish herself, and if Haman's plan goes through, that she would have to die too. Man, Esther is one tough cookie. What happened next? The king was moved by Esther's request and agreed to what she asked. He immediately got rid of Haman and canceled the plan to wipe out the Jewish people. Yeah, you did it, Esther. The king also gave all of Haman's wealth and property to Esther and Mordecai. Not only that, but the king signed a new decree to protect the Jewish people and keep them safe. The people of Israel were saved! Man, Esther is like a real-life superhero. Move over, Wonder Woman. Esther can take you any day. Esther decided to put her trust in who God said she was more than what she felt. And because of that, her entire country was saved. The end. Wow, Seth, what a story, oh, amazing mate. story, what an amazing woman of God. Mm. You know, Seth, one memory that stood out was just the bravery of Esther. You yeah. know, she could have been killed if the king didn't invite, you know, invite her in to see him. You know, yeah. it's a pretty brave thing. That is a huge deal. You yeah. are not allowed to see the king. But Esther trusted in God to save her, even though it was dangerous. Yep. And you know what? Her courage really paid off. All the Jews were saved by what she did, yep. and they were made safe in that whole kingdom. That's right. Just that one small act of courage she did to go up and see the king really paid off. And do you know why that paid off, Seth? It's because God asked her to do it. He took really good care of mm. Esther because she was his daughter, his princess. And, you know, God had a bigger plan to save the Jews. And, yeah, God took really good care of his child, Esther, you know, because she was a beautiful princess of God. God had such a big plan to save the Jews. And mm. he worked through Esther to bring that to fruition. Yeah, absolutely. And just like his big plan for Esther, God has a big plan for each one of our lives. And through all that, through wherever he takes us and whatever he asks us to do, we can count on him to take care of us. Awesome. Such good news, Seth. Such good news. Mm. And you know what also is really good news? What's good news? We have another week of U-Turn Craft. Woo! Whoa, that's amazing yes. news as well. I'm super excited. Yeah. Um, and we can't wait to see what they're going to do this week. Let's go see what they got. What they got. Hey, kids. Welcome back to Craft with U-Turn. And today we'll be making... Esther's crown. Yay! 
So for things you need, you need to uh, print out this template, which will be in the description box down below, and some extra A4 paper, obviously some coloring pencils, textures, whatever you want, um, scissors, and tape or a stapler. Awesome, so now that we've printed off our template, our first step is to colour in which crown we want. So you can choose from the top one or the bottom one and just colour it in however you like. Okay, now that we've chosen our crown and coloured it in, all we need to do is cut it out. So you kids also need to cut out um, a strip from your blank piece of A4 paper just so it's easy to wrap it around your head. And if you want, you can also colour this in. So now that we've finished cutting our pieces out, so all you have to do is staple or glue one end of your A4 strip to the other end. Yay, now that we've stapled it, we are done. So this is our crown and we can be like Queen Esther. Um, we can make a difference in our world and we are so happy that you guys were able to join us today for Craft With You Turn. So if you have made your own crown, uh, please send us a photo and we'd love to see you guys next time. Bye. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you so much, you two. Last craft of the week. Mm. Very sad, but we can't wait to see what's happening next term, Seth. Yeah. Super excited. And speaking of craft, we have some amazing craft show from last mm -hmm. week's Daniel the Lion's Den. Yeah. And okay. first up, we have a submission from the Voos. We have Victoria, Jonathan, and Madeline. Wow. And they have done such a great job. I'm very okay? excited. They've got the proper lion colors going on. Yep. They've got the yellow, they've got the orange. They've got the colors, oh, the, the faces colored in really faces well. Colored, yep, it's, it's pretty good. well done. A lot of detail, very orange as well. Good, yeah. good manes, you know. Yeah. Alex the Lion would be very proud Oh, yeah, of for sure. And as a bonus, they've sent in a video for Whoa. us to watch. So let's go to that. My name is Madeline. Hi, Wildfire. I'm Jonathan. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And have a like. Whoa. Awesome, bro. What a shout Fantastic. out. Thanks, Johnny. Johnny, yeah. you legend. Yeah. Absolutely. Chuck us a like. Chuck us a, like. Chuck us a, a subscribe. Yeah, awesome. No worries. That's what we want. Okay, we also have another amazing submission today, oh, Seth. Yeah? We have the one and only Paula Cat. Um, she's also done another video submission. Oh, so, fantastic. You know, it's great to get those videos in. We're super excited to see what you have for us today, Paula. Let's have a look. This is the mask from Daniel and the Lions. <laughs> Oh, that was incredible. That's such oh, a roar. That is such a roar. the most like fantastic roar that I've ever heard from a lion. I thought it was an actual lion. I thought there was, was a real was lion real. there. Paula, well done. That was phenomenal. That was great. That was so good. Seth, you know, very sad though. We finished up now for mm. today's episode. Yeah. Um, coming to the end. It's coming to the end. Um, so I thought maybe a great idea if we could finish with a prayer, Seth, and then we'd be able to say goodbye to the kids. Yeah, for sure. All right. Thank you, God, for this fantastic day and all that we've learned about Esther and your promises and your plans for our lives. God, we pray that you please bless all the kids watching at home and their families these holidays and bless the conference that's coming up. And we pray that you please keep us safe and show us how to live like you. Amen. 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 Awesome. Thanks so much, kids. Again, we won't be able to show the videos or the photos submit next, next week, week nope. unfortunately, but I'm sure we'd love to be able to show them next term, though. Yep. So send them in anyway. Send them in anyway. You still want to see them? Yep. Link, links under the bio, like Johnny said. Yeah. You know, chuck us a like, subscribe. Yep. Chuck um, us a like. No worries. That's right. Awesome. Cool. So again, Seth, we're very sad. A mm. um, whole term finished. It's gone very quick. Yeah. yeah. Oh, flows. Flying by. So we hope that you, we hope your kids actually learn a lot about Bible heroes. Yeah. You know, learn some cool things about Jonah, Samson, Esther, Daniel. This goes on really. Yeah, it really Too many, does. So many. And there's so many more in the Bible. In the Bible. Go and check them out over the holidays and let us know book. what you find. What a good book. Yeah. Fantastic. Awesome. You know so, what? See you, kids. Yeah, that's it. Wish you kids all the best. Hope you have an amazing and safe holidays. Have a fantastic holiday. Have a fantastic holiday. Stay safe. That's and right. we'll see you next time. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Hey, kids. Thank you so much for joining us with all of this term three on our Bible Heroes. We hope you got something out of it and really enjoyed it. So we just want to give you a little update on what's going to happen over the next few weeks. So if mom and dad aren't in front of the TV right now, go grab them. Um, so they can hear this little update. So what's happening is the wildfire team is actually having a three-week break. 
So this will be our last Sunday video for the next three weeks. So on the 27th, the 4th and the 11th of October, we will not be posting a Sunday video, but we will be back online ready for the 18th of October, ready for the term four launch. So we just thank you for all your help and we thank you for tuning in with us and we'll see you then. Bye.